Hello everyone. Let's see what I have here for you today. I have a 1994 Nissan Primera made by Tamika. It's a 164 scale range. Japanese car, Japanese brand. Tamika is a Japanese brand. Really cool looking car. No other brand made a Nissan Primera in their toy. No Matchbox, no Siku, no Hot Wheels. This is a nice looking car. You can see the front. The headlights are silver. Really rare. I haven't seen many cars with a silver headlight. But it stands out from the rest of the car, which is great. Um... Tamika is a great quality vehicle. The ride is super smooth. I mean, the, the ride, I mean, when you push it around, you know what I mean. Super smooth. Actually, you have to be very careful when I'm turning the base because it's so sensitive that it falls out. But it's a real, real looking car. The four door, let's flip it around. These were sold, the Primeras were not sold in America. The Altima was sold in America, but not the Primera. It was basically sold in Europe and Asia. I'm not a crazy fan of the Nissan Primera. Not, actually, we did have... No, let me fix what I'm saying. I, we had the Infiniti G20, I think it was called. And that was a Nissan Primera with an Infiniti badge. So we actually did have a Nissan Primera, but in an Infiniti group and you know infinity is part of nissan it's like the luxury brand of nissan all right the side the black molding around the vehicle around the back door and this and the front door you can see the doors open on this car really cool cool feature the gas tank you see right there the wheels are the same wheels that tamika used on many 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 cars but they're good. They're right well. They're really good quality. So let's flip it around. The back, I'm not too crazy about it. But I guess because the Nissan Primeras, nothing stand, nothing really stands out out of the car itself. The real car. So you see the head, the tail lights are a different color from the rest of the vehicle. But nothing really shows off. Nothing really brings my attention like, oh my god, this car is gorgeous. But it's a good, good, good looking sedan. Spoiler in the back. Makes it a little sportier than usual. Let's flip it around a little more. No license plate. I won't be able to take it to a test drive. <laughs> yeah, right. Not even my finger fit, fits in the, in the car. Alright, you can see... The other side also has the black molding. Great car. Great looking toy. Great looking four door sedan. I'm glad they make more four door sedans and not just only the regular sports car that we are so used to seeing. Sports car here, sports car there. You know, we like seeing those four door sedans also in the small scale. Right? Flip it around a little more. All right. Again, those headlights. I mean, silver, silver, chrome. Actually, it's not silver. It's chrome to top it all. <laughs> but, you know, they they made an attempt, which I what I appreciate is that it looks different from the rest of the car. It stands out as the headlights because it doesn't blend with the fender or the bumper or the grill. It's a different toy. Guys, let me know if you have one of these, if you want to have one of these, if you collect diecast, what scale you guys mostly collect, and what you want to have. And subscribe to my channel. Welcome to my channel. Click thumbs up if hopefully you like this video. Click also the bell by the subscribe button. That bell will let you know when I'm adding more videos, which is always welcome. And I'm adding a lot more because I have a lot more coming up. Okay, welcome to my channel. Take care. A lot more videos are coming up. See ya.